every right to watch. I have every right every to Every right ask. to watch, and you do not. She's my girlfriend. You do not. No, absolutely not. You. Do, you understand you're What's your name, Bash Number? Okay, so I'm talking about you guys behind your back. You're being insane. Okay. Look at me and my homie right here. I'm not so homie. No, look at Welcome to U.S. Corrupt Cops, where we expose injustice and abuse of power by law enforcement in the United States. Today, we highlight four cases of innocent men brutally assaulted and unjustly imprisoned by those sworn to protect and serve. These stories demand accountability and reform within our justice system. But we can't just watch. Take action. Subscribe, like, and share our videos. If you like this video, press 1. On October 30th, 2022, Jabriel, a viewer, described an incident involving Officer Hoover from the Philadelphia Police Department. On New Year's Day, as Jabriel left his aunt's house, he noticed several police officers nearby. Officer Hoover appeared to be following him, so Jabriel began recording the encounter on his phone. I got my camera too. Go take selfies. You want a New Year's selfie? Come on, homie. Look at me and my homie right here. I'm not your homie. No, look at this guy. Back up. Look at me and my homie. Sir, can you please back up? What's up? Can you please back up, sir? I'm not. I'm asking you politely. Can you please back up? I'm not asking. If I'm not, if I'm not committing a crime or anything, you're not that committing short, a crime. Who's committing right, so a crime? You want to take a picture? Back up? I thought you want to take no, a picture. Uh, you just ran I'm into a hole. I'm sick. Yeah, yeah, because you're scaring Why did you me. You walk into I don't want to get shot. I'm black. You're not please black. Please back up. Please back up. Thank you. I'm not backing up. You're Thank backing you. up. Please back up. I'm allowed to be here. It's a free country. All right, me too. Why are you chasing me around then? I'm not chasing you around. Why are you, you moving and you do follow you need my me. Assistance? No, I do not. You don't need me for no, anything? No. Why are you still here? Walk away. Oh, you're walking away. Why are you right. following me? Why Your car is back so, here. Because huh? I can't. It's a neighborhood. I got to live down here. Why do you live down here? You don't live down here. Okay, let you tell it. You don't live down here. Okay. <laughs> let you tell it. Boy, you don't live down here. Let you tell it. Boy, where are you from? None of your business. Where are you from? No more. Because you ain't from down here. Okay. You ain't from down here. Okay. I guess your name and best number, sir. It's right there, dog. Thank you. You got it? Yeah, thank you. You got it? Mm hmm. Thank you. Oh, Why are you putting a light on my face, sir? What? 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 Can you, you please light on call me? White I'm putting a light on you. It's fair. Can you please call a white shirt. I feel, I feel That's a now. white shirt. That sounds racist. No. Officer Hoover doesn't seem to care about the fact that a white shirt signifies a supervising officer. He aggressively follows Gabriel down the street, shining his flashlight in Gabriel's face and trying to provoke him with aggressive behavior. Even though Gabriel tries to back away and asks for a supervisor, Officer Hoover keeps being confrontational. Finally, he even touches Gabriel's phone. Can you no. please call your sir? sir? I'm sorry about that. Oh my God. Can you what did you mean by white? No, I didn't mean what anything did you mean by white? I mean by the color that's, of his t-shirt. That's the color can of my please, shirt. Can you please call the sergeant? Not the color of my skin. Can you please call the sergeant? Can you please call the sergeant? Not the color of my skin. Are you going to call the sergeant, sir? Call what sergeant? The sergeant, sir. White sergeant? Why do I got to call a white sergeant? No, can you please call the sergeant on your unit? you speak or are you misspeaking now? Can you please call the sergeant on your unit? What's your name? Stop following me. Thank you, sir. I'm following you. I don't got to give you my name. You don't got to be in that I don't got to give you my name. I don't got to give you my name. I don't got to give you my name. All right, don't give me uh, your name. Yeah, get I out of here. No, you Bye. follow me. No. Bye. You follow I'll me. I'll stay here all day. All right, me too. Excuse me, sir. You're back and I'll you're trying to bump day. into I'll me. I'm staying here all day. All right, me too. I'm not, bro. I'm recording it too, bro. I'll you just doing day. it. Well, what is your day. reason to doing this? Standing here? No, you're following me. I'm, I'm walking away. You walk away. I start recording. Watch. You walk away. I'm going to stand right here. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Bye. Congratulations. You Uh huh. Bye. Bye. Look at you. Bye. Yup, I'm not dumb, smart, and I know my rights. You're not dumb, yep. smart. Uh, bye. <laughs> bye. Today, Junior. Bye. Spit it out. Bye. Bye. Exactly. Bye. Bye. So bye. 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 Bro, you don't got entry. It's the Fifth Amendment, right? Fifth? Bye. Fifth? It's like winning them. Fifth Amendment? No, it's not the Fifth. You're it's really the second. Really I'm wrong. You're stupid to insult. Oh, thank fifth you. Amendment. Bye. All right, oh, bye. Don't walk up on me. I'm not walking uh, up on you. Bye. All right, you should bye. be leaving. Don't bye. Matter of fact, I'm crossing the street. Don't you follow me. Yeah, bye, dummy. Like, bye, like, dummy. Now, crossing the street. Bye, dummy. Walk dummy. Good luck with your dummy. Amendment. Dummy. 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 Thank you, dummy. I'm a dummy. That's Thank you, dummy. Amendment. Thank you, dummy. I wish I waited. Thank you, dummy. Yeah. Thank you, dummy. Thank you, dummy. Thank you, dummy. Gabriel opts to head home until the officers depart, but Officer Hoover takes issue with Gabriel approaching him and instructs him not to come any closer. Gabriel crosses the street to steer clear of the officer, and the two exchange taunts. 
Gabriel informs Officer Hoover that he's returning to his cousin's house to clarify his intentions, but Officer Hoover appears to be deliberately positioning himself in Gabriel's way, seemingly aiming to provoke his imminent arrest. Oh, guess what you Dang. Say, hang out tonight. I don't care. Okay. I'm, well, I'm, you guys gonna have to go home tonight. I don't gotta go nowhere. I, 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 okay. I got family in here. New Year's together. I got family in here. I'm going back to my cousin's house. I feel threatened. I'm not walking up on you. I'm not walking up on you. I'm crossing the street. And if you cross the street and follow me, then you follow behind me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Help me your car. Thank you. Car number. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. No, no, bro, fuck, I can walk this way. I'm not doing nothing to hold me. I got family down here. I could walk down here. Well, I, could, I didn't, they ain't got nothing to do with me. All right. I got family down here. All right, then do that. Get that world star out. Okay. World star. I'm walking right now. I'm walking to my aunt house because I feel threatened that I'm going to call an Uber and then leave. At this moment, I am now recording him just to show that I am not doing anything threatening no. to him Why or anything in that name. I'm not following you. I'm walking no, to my aunt. No. Why are you oh. following me? I'm not following you. 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 I'm not Gabriel was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct in possession of a small amount of marijuana. He's contesting the charges, but has also filed a complaint against the officer and intends to sue. Officer Hoover's conduct is unacceptable and reflects poorly on his department. It's widely believed that nobody should endure such treatment and no public official should behave disrespectfully, particularly without provocation. On October 30th, 2018, a reporter stopped by the Waterbury Police Department to film the exterior while driving home from an assignment. The department's building occupies a whole city block, with sidewalks on all four surrounding streets. While filming, Officer Bonoy drove out of the garage in a police car. Shortly after, Sergeant Leon approached him, questioning why he was filming and asked for identification. What are you, um, what are you taping? Just getting footage. Oh, it's like just of the building? Or yeah. Any specific reason? Just getting content for a story. What kind of story? It's, well, it's not published yet, so I'm not gonna divulge what it is. What's your name and badge number? So, it's Sergeant Frank Leon. Thank you, what's your uh, badge number? 738. Thank you. Okay, you, got a, you got an idea in here? Yeah. No. Yeah, we need ID. We need ID. For a First Amendment protected activity? Well, it's actually a security issue. Security issue? Yeah, you're videotaping the police station. I'm getting caught. I'm a journalist getting content for a story. Which is fine. So you have no problem then giving us. Why ID? would I have to give you my ID for performing a legal activity? How do we know it's legal? How do we I'm know on a. I'm on a, I'm on a public not, sidewalk. How do we know you're not planning on blowing up the building? Uh, shooting up I mean, I have no ill will if that's what you're asking. Okay. We well, don't know that. Well, that's, a, that's the beauty of the Constitution. You don't need to know that, right? I'm, I'm filming in a public... Okay, and we're legally asking for your ID. And, and that, is that, that's a lawful order? That is lawful order. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay, well, I'm not going to provide my ID. Okay. There's no reason I haven't performed any illegal act. I'm on a public sidewalk, as you can see. Yes, filming the police department. Yeah. It's supposed to be secure. We don't want people coming here. This is a public up. building. Yes. Yes. Yes, that, that. And there is very public. It's, it's a pub public. It's we, a public. We own this building. It's not a public building. You this is not a public building? You can't go in and walk around. You can in the lobby? The in the lobby? Yeah, in the lobby. Yeah. You're allowed in the this lobby. is a public building. I'm filming from the outside on a public no. space. You can't allow the videotape the police station. You most certainly can. No, you not can actually. Uh, you most, I'm a thousand percent sure you can film anywhere outside. Okay. Are you sure about that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I am. You're sure about that as well? Yep. Oh. Okay. At this juncture in our conversation, I want to emphasize that these two sergeants have pledged an oath to the Constitution and hold leadership roles. In fact, every officer of the Waterbury Police Department is required by city ordinance to take an oath, the opening sentence of which solemnly affirms their commitment to uphold the Constitution of the United States. The chosen candidates for the Waterbury Police Department and the department that you represent, please repeat after me. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear that I will support
support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. This scenario underscores a common problem within U.S. law enforcement agencies. Many officers may not have a thorough understanding of constitutional law, particularly regarding public access rights and the legality of filming in public spaces. Despite some restrictions on filming inside government buildings, officers may mistakenly believe that these buildings are entirely off-limits to the public. However, it's important to recognize that public buildings are indeed accessible to the public, and filming their exteriors from public areas, such as sidewalks, is legal. In this situation, Northeast Auditor, who hasn't broken any laws, is justified in refusing to comply with requests for identification. Five. Well, I'm not going to provide my ID. I haven't performed any illegal activity. Can you articulate a crime I've committed, or...? Reasonable suspicion. Of, yeah, of, of what crime? Reasonable, I don't know if you're about to blow up the building, if you're setting... Well, can you articulate a crime I've committed? You're videotaping secure areas of the place. Yeah. That's not a crime. Yeah, so I'm going to need you to let me know what crime I've committed. Reasonable suspicion. You do not have to commit a crime. Okay, am I being detained right now, or am I yes. free to go? Yes, you're being Okay, on what, under what suspicion of what crime? Reasonable suspicion. I don't know. Are you sure about here. this? I'm positive. Okay. So uh, this I, is going to I would, I would ask for a supervisor to come out at this point because, okay, yeah, so well, we're well, provide identification or not. I'm not providing any identification. Right. I've done you nothing guys wrong. your back, you're being detained. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna hold the camera. Yeah. Please don't turn it off. Thank you. I don't have my license on me, so. You guys, you can go to You don't have anything on you with your name on it? Anything with your name on it? No, uh, right there is my paycheck, so no, I'm on okay. your mind. The Northeast Auditor was recording a video of a government building from a public street when an officer stopped him. He was taken to the police station, charged with misdemeanor interference, and released with conditions to appear in court. His belongings, including an SD card from his camera, were kept until the case was dismissed in May 2021. Throughout the process, he attended court multiple times, resulting in missed work and travel expenses. In late August 2021, the ACLU took on his case, suing for violations of his First and Fourth Amendment rights and malicious prosecution. The case may settle or go to trial, potentially taking years to resolve. On July 19, 2021, Jabari was driving behind his girlfriend when she got pulled over by two Pinellas County Sheriff's Office officers for a suspended license, which turned out to be a mistake by the DMV. He parked nearby and saw the officers searching her car. Worried, he went closer, but his girlfriend assured him everything was fine and told him to head home and meet her later. How you doing? Good. You can come back here and just hang out for a minute. They wanted to just search real quick all my tags. 
Hey, sir, stay over there for me, please. Okay. Do me a favor. No. It's, my, it's my old car. Okay. My I got you, but but you're not a part of this right now. I'm trying to be. I'm I'm my I'm trying. Kind of I'm trying to be respectful to you. Just go step over there, okay? We should be done in a minute. I got you, but don't but don't interrupt but don't interrupt the stop. Hey, matter of fact, listen to me, okay? If Sorry. listen to me, uh, this is not how this works. If, if you want to run the show, if, not, but if, listen to me, listen to me. Let me speak. If you want to interject yourself, then I need to see your identification. Why? Go ahead and show that for me, please. What have I done? That's one time I'll ask again, and you'll go to jail. Let me see your identification. If I have committed a crime, I'd be happy to give. It you're to interrupting you. my stop. You need you need to produce your identification. One more time, you're gonna go to jail. It's in my pocket. If Grab it out, please. It, if you want to take it, go ahead. Grab it out of here and go to jail. Last time. Turn around. No, that's all right. That is ridiculous, my man. 100%. 12, Charlie. Don't worry about it. Open up a 13P mail interrupt in the uh, 1050 here. He's 1050. It's in his pocket, sir. My man, you couldn't have just given me my, your ID? Why would I give you my ID? Because you're interrupting my traffic stop. What have I done to you? you I'm asking my girlfriend. I'm telling you, you've interrupted the traffic stop. You were never a part of this traffic stop. Your girlfriend is... is I is, am. Is, she was following me. Okay. You're, are you being pulled over here? No. Okay. Here's the deal. I, I've explained it to you. You're asking me to explain it to you. I've done I've, so. I'm not. I asked her to explain right. to me what's going on. Then you, you guys are but, searching but her car. But then you asked if I could explain to you what you've done. I right. asked you if you were talking to her, which you were not. I told you. And I you will not speaking. interrupt the is traffic stop. Is she not stop. allowed to speak? You are not allowed to interrupt am I, this traffic stop. Am I stop. not allowed to speak? Not in this traffic stop. So she's not allowed to speak to anyone. You cannot interrupt this traffic stop. What law tells her that she's not allowed to speak to anyone? You may not interrupt this traffic stop. Right. That is the law. You're under arrest for obstruction, sure. okay? <laughs> 12 Charlie, take a PT van here, please. I told you she'd be done in a minute. I'm sure she would have been. I just wanted to know what was going on. Okay, she got pulled over and she gave consent for her vehicle to be searched. She gave, which all is, she had to do which was is, say which is she technically, gave consent. Well, but that's none of your business. I mean, it kind of is. It's kind that of is not. my car. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She's driving it. It's in I her guess. care, custody, and control, my man. You really couldn't just sit here for a minute? I'm standing. Now you got to go to jail. I'm standing man. more than 10 feet you away. You have every right to stand there. You have no right to interrupt it, though, okay? Jabari has been arrested in Florida for obstructing justice according to statute 843.02. This statute doesn't precisely define what constitutes obstruction, but legal sources like the Legal Information Institute of Cornell Law School describe it as any act that corruptly influences, obstructs, or impedes the administration of justice, requiring a specific intent to obstruct for conviction. However, the video evidence shows Jabari maintaining distance and merely asking his girlfriend for a status update during a vehicle search conducted by deputies. Given these circumstances, it could be argued that Jabari's actions don't meet the criteria for obstruction and his arrest might even be seen as a violation of his First Amendment rights. This, this is completely unnecessary. It's all right. I know, but why? You didn't have to go to jail if you I just would have been patient, my man. Okay, so... You could have just come over here and just... So what just, was I supposed to do? Just be quiet and watch if you want to. Why would I want to be quiet and watch? If you guys are not doing something you're supposed to do, I wanted to know. You have every right to watch. I have every right every to Every right act. to watch, and you do not. She's my girlfriend. You do not. Okay. That's a common misconception right. of today. You do not. Okay, you're it's, right. It's, it's people that think they know the I'm law, sure but you're incorrect. You're right. Okay. Well, I am. That's why you're going to jail. Okay. Dude, do you think I wanted? You think I randomly just it's, said? Hold on, a second. let me speak. It's okay. Do you think I randomly just said this it's guy totally walking? Fine. This guy walking up. The next person I see walking down the road, I'm gonna arrest him for absolutely no reason. I mean, it's happened before. It's happened before. Yeah. Okay. Come on over here. Come see your car. This car? So. Okay. You good? Yep. Uh, All right, watch the future. Jabari was arrested by Deputy Johnson, who then searched his belongings and called for transportation. Although Jabari was able to post bail and all charges were later dropped, it seems that Deputy Johnson overstepped his authority during the encounter. When Jabari tried to file a complaint, he was told that Deputy Johnson had transferred to another department in a different state, preventing the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office from taking any action. A condensed version of the video was shared, 
but the complete unedited footage is available on a separate channel. Viewers were encouraged to leave supportive comments for Jabari. Yeah, you could have sat there and watched the entire thing as long as you wanted to. I understand. You asked for search and I know. And is, is that really your girlfriend? Okay, so what, emotions got high and you decided to figure out what was going on? Well, I'm saying, but you were curious because it was your girl? My man. Well, she was involved in a police matter, okay? And that's why you can't... Right. And that's the traffic stop's not, not open to the public to be interjected with. Mm -hmm. I'll bring him out and I gotta count all his cash. He got a lot of money. We'll do him first. The guy, the guy's a f***ing law expert. What are your thoughts on this case? In the summer of 2023, I Hate Bullies, a concerned citizen, noticed several police cars parked at the end of his street. Intrigued by the activity, he decided to document it by strapping on a body cam and grabbing his iPhone. As he approached the scene, he found no officers around and attempted to use his phone to zoom in on the patrol car computers for information. However, his actions caused officers to quickly emerge with their guns drawn. What do you guys want? Am I breaking a law here? Am I breaking a law? Yeah, you Don't, touch me. No, no, no. Don't touch I'm me. You down. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm patting you down. Where's the crowd, guys? After conducting a pat down, the officers confiscated his phone and instructed him to sit up without restraints. I can look inside your car, dip. You can cry. Sit up. Up. Let me go! Shut Did up, I do shut anything up, wrong? I can yes. get up on my own. Yes. I'm a adult. Yes. Holy! Oh. Stay right here. Just sit up. We're investigating a crime. Oh, what crime yes. are we we're investigating? In high, we're in a high crime area. Oh. People go through cars all the time. You're walking through with a mask on, looking through cars. That's what am I trying to take your DVD That's player? That's suspicion. Okay. That's what we're doing. That's you guys all got your body cameras on? Yep. We just. Ah, yes. uh, beautiful. Yep, there we go. We yeah, get them on. Let's go. What's your name? Oh, you. That's my name. Okay. Ask your mom what my name is. Dude, I know what you think you're doing. You think you're trying to like stir us up. That's not what's happening. What, what the f is happening, dude? I told you when a high stir camera, you I'm up. Investigating crime. I'm investigating a crime. It's, it's simple. I'm investigating a lawsuit right now. That's, That's why I'm you investigating. Can, you can do that all you want, but I'm, I'm telling One, you. One, two, three, four. Holy! Gonna... Four. You guys want to get involved in this? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? We're all gonna go down this road. Yep. Well, if you, if it's really continue, simple. please. Dude. I'm. I'm. I can't. I, I'd love to hear it. I explain. Can I get up now? Are you gonna? Uh, no. Am I still being pinned down here? Uh, so he patted down? me down. What yeah. do I got on me? That he patted okay. me down. Now, you, now you're still. Okay. Still, I'm still a threat to you. You're either gonna explain this. You're either gonna identify yourself. We're gonna write our report. I'm curious. Or, so what was going on? Domestic yeah. disturbance. You no, should have kept your computer up. We're in a high, yeah, we're we're in a high crime area. You're looking through vehicles with a mask on. Oh my That's gosh. That's reasonable suspicion. Oh my gosh. Simple. I told you this twice. Reasonable suspicion of what? Do I get tools to break into cars? We don't know. In this situation, the police stopped a person who was wearing a mask and inspecting vehicles in the dark based on Florida's stop and frisk law. This law allows officers to detain someone if they have reasonable suspicion of criminal activity. However, after questioning the person and finding only ordinary items like sunglasses and a phone, the officers didn't have enough evidence to arrest them. Despite the person explaining their intentions and lacking any incriminating evidence, the suspicion persisted. One officer even suggested the person might be trying to provoke them. This raises concerns about whether the person's actions truly constituted suspicious behavior under the law. What you think you're doing? You think you're trying to like stir us up? That's not what's happening. In this scenario, someone is questioning whether police officers should still have the authority to identify individuals if they no longer suspect them of a crime. They argue that once officers no longer have specific facts or tools to support their suspicions, they shouldn't have the right to continue identifying people. The person also expresses disagreement with the reasonable suspicion standard used by law enforcement. They're seeking opinions on this topic. What, do I get yeah. tools to break yeah. into cars? We don't know that. Then you start uh, okay. Probable cause? Okay, here's the deal. What you're, a you're, you're, gonna gonna you're still going either, with this yeah, investigation. Yeah, we're going to do it. Either you're going to do it. All right. Am I, can yeah. I get up? No. All right. Are you, well. gonna, are you gonna identify yourself? This is really simple. No, absolutely not. You. Ben, you, you understand you're gonna What's go your name, badge number? Ben and Castle, 3711. Name, badge number. Come on, let's get it for the record on the cameras. Yeah, let's go. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Name, a badge yourself? number. Are you gonna Can I get my recording no. back? Oh, you're gonna you're violate my Fourth right Amendment right? It's not a violation. You're, you're not gonna let me.
Let me record no. this. No, you're recording. You're not letting me record this right now. No. Okay. You you're stopping me from. Oh, this yeah. is prior restraint. No. This is prior restraint. Okay. You're, this is a. God, I'm coming after all your fucking pensions. You have no qualified immunity now. You know you're violating the right, my rights right now. Qualified immunity out the door. Be careful with it. Okay, yep. here's the deal. I need one more time. Oh, uh, no. I've explained to you. No, shh. Give me five more times. Shh. I've explained to you. Get, get this fucking no. hoodie and mask off me. I've explained to you. Can't fucking breathe. I've explained to you. I want to see my face and identify me so bad. Are you gonna, I've explained to you what, why you're detained for. I've explained to you why you have to have my, my reasonable articulate suspicion. I've already explained it to you. Oh. Okay, you don't have to believe So me, articulate. But I can articulate it. So either you're going to identify yourself or you're going to go to jail. Those are the two options you have. Really? You're going to violate my fourth now? Hey, we all okay with this? Can we get a sergeant down here? Hey, Nobody's gonna, got stripes, so right? Are you going to explain? Let's get a sergeant down here. Are what the f***? Are you going to identify yourself? No? Let's get a sergeant down here. Are you going to identify yourself or not? I don't think you want a sergeant down here. Is that a threat? Are you guys going to make a threat now? Or no? Are you going to be... You, right, you seem smart. You haven't yep. said anything. Really? Yep. All right. I'll identify me. I got to put it on the intent to sue anyway. I hate bullies identifies himself once the officer makes it clear that he is willing to make the arrest. Bingo. Okay. Look me up. Let's see what's up. What I, I don't. I don't care that you're. You want to know what that is? Yeah. I, I... No. What was that? This? It's definitely a car key. He is subsequently escorted to a patrol car and seated inside. Another violation. Here, car. Not a Fourth Amendment violation. I have to identify. Why do you, you identify me without probable cause? Without crime being committed. You looked into my car. Yes. Oh my God! Is that a crime? Oh, care clean. Looking into a car is absolutely a crime. A police car? In a high crime area. When you're Are you serious? Yeah. Have you not watched YouTube ever? Yeah. No, we know YouTube. Have a seat. She doesn't. Discussion. The officers mute their microphones, but one of them is holding Bully's body camera, which continues to record. He absolutely committed a blundering crime. In simpler terms, the law says it's illegal to hang around or act suspiciously in a way that makes people worry about safety or property. But before the police can arrest someone for this, they have to give that person a chance to explain why they're there and what they're doing. If the person's explanation is believable and would have made the officer less worried, then they can't be charged with loitering or prowling. Also, there's a situation where a conversation recorded on a body camera belonging to someone who spreads hate reveals some questionable behavior by the police, even though they thought the camera was turned off. He's an agitator, but he absolutely committed a blundering problem. I don't know if you want to go forward with him. We absolutely, I mean, it I don't care about the mask. Yeah. Yeah, he saw us here and he wanted to come stir shit up. Which is fine. I mean, we have plenty of Eventually, the officers became aware that the camera was recording and deactivated it. In their report, the officers asserted that they had given him a chance to allay their concerns, although this occurred before he was placed under arrest. They also acknowledged multiple times that they believed he was just an agitator. I Hate Bullies was charged with loitering and prowling as well as resisting and obstructing. He was held in jail for 12 hours, but he intends to contest the charges in court. Thanks for tuning in to U.S. Corrupt Cops. Our mission is to shed light on cases of injustice and brutality perpetrated by those entrusted with upholding the law. By subscribing to our channel, liking, and sharing our videos, you become part of a movement to demand accountability and reform in law enforcement. Let's raise our voices together against corruption and brutality. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and spread the word. Together we can make a difference.